Previously on the Epic Family Road Trip, after selling our family's business in 2015, we purchased a 24-foot motorhome and our family of five hit the road for an adventure of a lifetime. In the first few episodes, we were dipping our toes in the water to see if we were fit for life on the road. Last week's episode, we had the life-changing experience of bringing 800 solar-powered lights to one of the poorest areas in the Western Hemisphere, Ferrier, Haiti. When we returned home, we packed our motorhome and hitched up our Jeep to begin an epic journey around North America. All right, we're getting all the gear in the motorhome. We've got five sports this time because we're hitting so many different uh, climates. We're gonna be in, in Texas. And in Texas, we're bow hunting. So there's the five bows. Um, anywhere we go, we do a bit of longboarding, so you need our gloves, boards, helmets. We always try to hike, and we're going through Colorado, hopefully on the way home, so there's some mountains there. There's our hiking gear, five backpacks, seats, uh, walking sticks, hiking shoes, hiking gear, all the stuff we need in case you get caught in a snowstorm on a mountain or something. Tents, just in case we have to stay overnight. We're biking this time. Um, we've got the bikes on the rack, so helmets, biking shoes, camel packs, um, special gloves, and padded shorts. And then we're thinking if we come up, if we're in Texas and we come up through Utah, we're going to try to hit a mountain, our last uh, snowboard of the year, and that requires us to bring all of our snowboard gear. So we've got five boards, all our boots, our gloves, our helmets our goggles, snowboard pants, snowboard jackets, a lot of stuff. And we gotta get all of this into the motorhome and luckily we have the Jeep now so that works as some storage for that as well. So here we go, we're gonna start loading. All that on the bottom, then boots and helmets on top, bikes on top, and then backpacks. We first headed south to the beautiful state of Texas to spend time with friends and family. Many of you, even if you have been following us for a while, may not know that we had a cat with us in the RV for the first few months on the road. She was quite an outdoors cat and didn't take to the travel lifestyle. She was later adopted by a kind woman from California, but that's a story for another day. about five o'clock and we're getting ready to hit the road now after the snowplow left things quieted down and I had an amazing sleep for a couple hours but we're hitting the road temperature also went from minus four to plus four so fairly pleasant ready to get on the road
I don't know where I'm going I'm on the flight Don't you got you by my side In the red moon light You'll be alright Just fine In Tennessee, we had a lot of fun visiting some historical sites like Graceland, the home of Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. In Memphis, going for some Memphis barbecue. Looking forward to it. It's been a while since we've eaten out of the motorhome. We unhitched the Jeep and headed into town. We had a few minutes to go take a look at Elvis Presley's home, Graceland. That was fun. Kids enjoyed that. We played Elvis music the whole way here. And now we're having some Memphis barbecue. Wow, the Mexican ride's amazing. So, just showing the boys how to hook up the Jeep and all the different uh, wires, the safety wire. There's a, a brake release, so if the car somehow comes detached, it'll the brakes will activate. And then they're hooking up the power cables there, and then all the safety cables and everything, so that it's properly hitched up. And we can leave early in the morning and start heading south. We're, we unhooked the Jeep so we could get into town, into Memphis, and go see Graceland and eat some delicious barbecue. But first thing in the morning, maybe 5 o'clock tomorrow morning, we're going to head out and start driving south. Hopefully get way down as far as uh, New Orleans, uh, Louisiana. That's the goal anyway. We'll get as far as we can. We just left uh, Memphis. Spent a good night there at the Flying J. I'm grabbing some barbecue. And now we're headed down to New Orleans. Should be there around noon. We're in Mississippi. It's about 5 a.m. Heading towards Jackson, Mississippi. And then south there to right to the bay. The long hours of driving would take its toll so we would find rest stops along the way and do some exercise together outside the RV. set up in camp in New Orleans at the KOA. It's only about, they say about uh, 11 miles to downtown, so either we'll drive in with the Jeep or we'll take a shuttle. That's pretty cool, nice spot. And the weather is absolutely gorgeous. What a difference a couple of days makes. New Orleans is world famous for its incredible jazz music, food, and of course, the delectable beignets at the historic Cafe du Monde. Okay, get your hands dirty, boys. Get in there. Let's put it in the market. Let's put it in the market. 
Mississippi River, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Before heading to San Antonio for business, we visited our Uncle Mark and Aunt Laura's home. They always give us the real Texan experience, shooting, horse riding, eating local and homemade cuisine, and hunting and helping out at the ranch. Well, wow, Dan, you got yourself. Yeah. Hey, look, Dan, look, look. <laughs> San Antonio, Texas at the International Franchise Association Conference and you can see in the background that we're all set up for uh, what we call the business roundtables. Uh, one of the tables I'm, I have the privilege of hosting this year and it's all around team, team dynamics and building a great team and the subjects that I really enjoy. That's what we came to San Antonio for, for this conference to learn and to share and to make contacts and to be, build relationships and to really stay in tune with the franchising industry which has been a big part of my career so i'm looking forward to today and to meeting great people and to sharing everything we know and to learn from each other about how to build a great team and how to maintain a strong team dynamic one of the highlights of being in texas is going to the family ranch It was a fun experience driving the trucks out to the bush and hunting in the blinds until sundown. Before enjoying some authentic Texas barbecue for dinner.
what I found someone new. What did you expect me to do? One of the questions we get asked most often is how do you earn money while on the road? Well, Dad is a professional speaker and he leaves from whatever city we are near to do his talks. In this case, he flew from San Antonio to Winnipeg, Canada for a speaking engagement and then returned to join us back in Texas. While Dad was away, Uncle Mark took us to the San Antonio Rodeo, which was an epic experience. When Dad returned, we all headed up to Central Texas to our friend's ranch to spend time with them and shoot some ski on the range. After an epic time at the ranch, we said goodbye to our friends and headed west to Big Bend National Park. It's pretty cool. Interesting stuff. If you have never been to Big Bend National Park, we highly recommend it. This was our first taste of real desert climate and terrain and our first spectacular hike into the mountains of South Texas. There is still so much to explore in that amazing part of Texas, and we will definitely be back. But we had a lot more country to see, and so we headed northwest into New Mexico, driving all the way up to Santa Fe. Stay tuned for episode 5 of season 1 of the Epic Family Road Trip, as we continue to make our way across the country on our journey around North America.